uh, I had a fate for disqualification for going over time. So this time I thought, why not pick up my phone, put a timer myself that will sound and keep my mouth shut <laughs> as soon as the timer crosses and this is when I'm going to start. Then I'd like to say, I was at home because I came to college quite late. And I remember on the last day before coming, leaving Pune, that's my home, uh, I told, I met my mom in the morning, as soon as I woke up and I come and tell her, Mama, what if it was a situation where you're not my biological mom? Now that's a very bad thing to tell your mom the first thing in the morning. I realize that the hard way, but do not tell that to your mother in the morning. But I told my mother, what if you're not my biological mom? And what if someone else is my real mother? Would it make a difference? Honestly, to me, looking from a very, very um, logical perspective about the affection that that woman who was supposedly my, not my biological mother, but my mother, because she brought me up, it wouldn't make much of a difference. Apart from perhaps I would have the uh, some chromosomes from my mother's side in my blood and my DNA. Apart from that, I just don't see the difference. It really doesn't make much of a change in my life, if that were true. Keep this in your head because I'm going to come back to it. The second thing I was thinking, this is this is bottle. Anyone want to speak a catch? Any? Okay. Now, can you tell me whether if this bottle were red color, would it change the use of the bottle? Black, blue, green, Black. any other color? Black. Why? even more masala into my speech. I'd like to thank you for that. Another thing is today as I was coming for my speech, I was supposed to wear formal shoes. But I want good old crocs. Does it make any change in the way I will walk or the purpose of what a shoe or the purpose of a chapel is? <coughs> Honestly, no. It is the meaning we define to this croc or to a polished shoe. It is a meaning we define to a bottle. Like he said, black is for wine. Apparently not coke. But I feel that as I was reading this person, just one hour before coming here and giving his speech, it hit me that, is there really meaning? Is there a sense of purpose in life? Or are we creating that purpose in life? And here comes in the picture a cool old French philosopher, Jean Paul Sartre. But this guy had a very interesting take on life. People are fighting all over the world for freedom. We have protests, we have big, big uh, uh, charts that tell which country is the most free. We have all sort, mm. sorts of things talking about freedom. But according to Jean Paul Sartre, freedom is something that is forced upon us. Freedom is a bane for humans. Freedom is something that we are doomed to have. You might be wondering, he surely has taken a couple of those black bottles that we talked about before writing this. <laughs> but it really makes sense if you just think about what Jim Paul Sartre is talking about. Now I'll leave you at Jim Paul Sartre and come back to the first thing that I was talking about. And that was, what is the difference between a shoe and a crop? And what is the difference between a bottle and this? It is the meaning to impart to that. What if I were to tell you? that there is an essence to what is a bottle. There is an essence to what is a shoe that I just literally just now said. But what if there were no essence to the absolute universe that we are talking about? And this is something that came about very recently. You might be wondering that, okay, this sounds very normal, this sounds very, uh, you know, Gen Z kind of talk. But this is honestly very Gen Z because this came in the 19th and 20th century. Until 2000 years, Aristotle and Plato, they believed that ex uh, existence was succeeded by essence. So there was essence first and then came about existence. So you had a purpose in life and then you were, uh, then you brought out of your mom, mama's womb. That is what his idea was. But Jim Paul Sartre denied that. He was like, no, we come about in this universe, we are born, we learn to know ourselves 
and then we create meaning and then we find essence and then we find a certain meaning or driving force towards that meaning and i'm pretty sure most of you at least in my situation at least i am a very very meaningless person and by meaningless i mean that i haven't yet reached that core thing that i was craving for i am pretty sure most of you won't reach it to be really frank most of you won't reach it however you still waking up in the morning breathing and not stabbing a knife in your neck because you are moving one step or maybe one step behind toward from that meaning but jean paul sartre says one thing he said when we have freedom the problem with freedom is you have to create a meaning you have to create a meaning in something as absurd as i'll give an example which is very weird and jean paul sartre's view on that just is magnified by example let's take kosh master suppose he was just not talking about girls and impressions and so let's assume kosh master suppose finds a partner in those girls that he was trying to impress and they were the sitting on a dining table and on a day okay what are the sitting you know what would jean paul sartre say jean paul sartre say what would say like this there is a ball of hydrogen and a piece of rock flew off of it after an explosion on the piece of rock two mammals are sitting <laughs> under a block of dead wood which is placed on top of it dead meat and dead plants and those people take sexual favors from each other that is a literal thing that jean paul sartre will tell because we are creating meaning to that block of wood by calling it a table we are creating meaning to that dead vegetables and dead meat by calling it food we are creating meaning between those two mammals sitting beside each other and calling it a relationship but isn't that created by us isn't that are we using our freedom to create something but the problem is it is our headache it is our headache to create meaning it is not the headache according to jean paul sartre okay that's my time and i will have to end now so that i don't get disqualified but jean paul sartre according to him freedom is something we are doomed to because we have to create meaning in a meaningless world and anyone who refuses to believe that no there is some certain meaning in all of that is absurd according to jean paul sartre and to all those who oppose me give me more time next time and i'll talk about it thank you <laughs>